I want to show you exactly how to link this up. So it's fast, easy. You can literally just click a button on your Shopify app or in your storefront and it's done. What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about how to integrate Shopify with Amazon to start getting your first customers, your first sales outside of Amazon without getting a second fulfillment center, without shipping the products yourself with everything automated. So you can use Amazon to literally ship products to your Shopify customers. This will be your first step in actually starting a website, starting a brand, getting sales outside of Amazon. So you're not always relying on Amazon. So Amazon is great, but they have their pitfalls, right? So we can use their massive customer base, but eventually if we get to five, 10 K sales and above, we don't want to be stuck with just Amazon sales. So say we get cut off, say we get suspended. Well, our complete sales channel is down. So eventually you want to start moving off of Amazon, start leveraging a customer base on your own. And the easiest way to do this is to start a Shopify store and integrate both there. So you can start this process slowly without all the hiccups, without having a warehouse, without having a second shipping method and everything can be integrated. So it's as easy as possible. So I'm going to show you on screen here how to do this exact thing. So you can start your Shopify store and then go ahead and start to fulfill orders on Shopify through your Amazon fulfillment. If you guys don't know what Shopify is, it's essentially just something you could build a website for, for e-commerce very simply. And it's very affordable here. So 30 bucks a month. There's a free trial for three months for a dollar per month right here, which is a mind boggling deal essentially, right? What's cheaper than Amazon to begin with. The cool thing here too is Shopify actually has less fees than Amazon. We know the referral fee for Amazon is 15% for most categories. It's 2.9% plus 30 cents here for anything that's done through Shopify. So this is your first step in branching out and eventually you can have higher margins on your own website. Again, we use Amazon to get our jump start, use their massive customer base because you know before Shopify even existed, it would take 15 to 20 K just to make your own website. It takes like seven impressions to get someone to even trust your brand, which is very expensive when it comes to marketing. So I'm not saying Amazon isn't the way, but this is a great way to start to diversify and get your first momentum when it comes to building your brand and building an outside sales channel here. So we see the dollar trial right here. This is an example of a Shopify store. So it's very simple. And I'll show you guys on screen too, like what this looks like, everything like this. So the reason I first started a Shopify store is on my PPC data, I actually saw people searching my brand name. If people are searching my brand name on Amazon, they're most likely doing it on Google too. So I was like, well, if they're searching on Google, there's nothing there besides Amazon. So why not start my own Shopify store website and start seeing if I can collect sales through another platform. And it's actually worked. We get two to three organic sales. I know it's not crazy with our first brand just through Google search through Shopify. And I was like, okay, there's something here. Then you can start outside advertising if you want and just build up slowly. That's the key thing here too. You don't want to spend thousands on this stuff right away, but just branch out a little bit, see if there's any organic traffic that comes through, start testing different things. Maybe it's affiliates, maybe it's YouTube search, maybe you're just doing SEO, Google ads, Facebook ads. But again, I'd start slow here and slowly work your way out before you go deep into any huge paid advertising. So we can see here, we just go to shop now uh, on the Shopify store and we can see clothes here. So this is just an example of one here. Then inside of Shopify, this is what it looks like. So today I want to talk about the product pages, everything like that, along with how to automate. If someone orders on your Shopify page, which we'll go through a whole order here right now, how do we get that filled by Amazon so we don't have to have a second warehouse or ship it ourselves? So when you sign up for Shopify, this is what it looks like. So you add your first product, customize your theme. You could follow this. I'm not gonna go super deep in this because I, I just wanna be efficient with your guys' time and show you what's possible. If you've gotten to this step, I, I believe you guys can figure this out because honestly, Shopify is easier to set up than Amazon, which is saying something there. So if you've made it through Amazon, you can make it through Shopify, but Shopify will literally direct you at how to do everything right here. So what I want to talk about is your product page here. So say, you know, for this example, we're going to use queen size bed skirting here. In this, you can just put in your same bullets for Amazon here, throw in your same photos. Uh, you can have a price here, which you can raise the price, lower the price. If you do raise the price, sometimes Amazon gets a little mad because they want the lowest price, but uh, you can experiment with that yourself. Uh, if you want to track your profits, you can do, you know, put your cost per item in here as well. And the most important part here is the Amazon FCF. So this is multi-channel fulfillment, which Amazon allows you to use to send products to other customers that are not ordering on Amazon. And we can see everything on Amazon too, it actually comes in and manage orders under a different ID labeled consumer ID. And so, you know, these are outside sales, not on Amazon, but coming from somewhere else. Okay. So we go down here, you put your shipping weight as well in here. Uh, you know, variations, pretty easy. Then it gives you an example of what's gonna look like on Google search here. But I'll show you guys a preview of what this page looks like. We go over here, it's gonna look exactly like this. Again, this is an example page here where my home home page isn't looking good, but I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what you can do here and how easy that is here in a second. Uh, but people can add to cart and check out through Shopify once that's all set up. 
here. But what we do when we first begin, say we listed our products here, right? So we have an order we want to fulfill here. So it's like, crap, like how do I fulfill this order? Well, you can actually automate this by literally searching Amazon Shopify integration. Okay, and this first page here, uh, they actually change this up. This changes many times, but it looks like they got the be all end all where Amazon has its own Shopify app right here. So when you're ready to do this and ready to link up here, you literally hit download app right here. This will take you to a page that looks like this, okay? So once you're here, you'll sign into your Amazon account. You'll connect your Amazon account right here. So it's like API connection, right? So it just gives permission for Shopify to be into Amazon so they can link up orders, everything like that. Next, you're gonna go to map SKUs. So again, guys, if you're confused, uh, you literally could go back here, uh, just type in exactly what I'm saying right here, Shopify uh, Amazon supply chain, uh, download that app. It's gonna take you to Shopify, just hit download. Uh, then it's all linked up there. Then map SKUs. So essentially what it wants you to do is it'll take all your Shopify SKUs here and then your Amazon SKUs. Just make sure these line up exactly. So you can just go to your manage inventory page, copy and paste your Amazon SKU here, hit this button right here, and then that'll be linked up. So do that with all your products you're gonna sell on Shopify. Manage shipping. So shipping options, this probably is the most confusing part of this, but it's it's not too bad. Just hang with me here. Uh, so we have standard expedited priority. Okay, so Amazon offers this in multi-channel fulfillment. Okay, so you can actually, if you just go on your Amazon Seller Central, go to orders, you'll see MCF fulfillment or multi-channel fulfillment there. And you can go play around this if you like. You can actually just do this manually, but that's just gonna waste too much time. I wanna show you exactly how to link this up. So it's fast, easy. You can literally just click a button on your Shopify app or in your storefront and it's done. Easy as that, guys. So we can see that they have default settings of three to five days. You can do two days. I usually do three to five days. You could do two days if you're used to that. It costs a little bit more to fulfill that way, but you can weigh your profit margins, go from there. But I like to have all three options here. So we see standard, expedited priority, and then customers can actually select this when they're checking out on your store. So they can select this themselves and you can upcharge them if they're gonna do priority shipping. So it matches with Amazon in that you're not losing any margin there, okay? So once you hit save here, uh, you'll go back to welcome here, then aside products fulfillment by MCF, in Shopify. So this will take you back to your Shopify store. Okay, then you'll log in right here. Then it'll take your product page right here. So you can go back to your product page. And again, this is kind of where all the magic goes. Once that app's downloaded, you'll go to inventory will be stocked at Amazon FCF. Now you have a couple options here you could do. If you got a second fulfillment channel, you can add that in here. But for most people just starting out, just rely on Amazon MCF here until you get big enough where it makes sense to go somewhere else where, you know, multi-channel fulfillment fees from Amazon aren't the cheapest, they're, they're more expensive than FBA fees when people are just checking out on Amazon, which makes sense. They encourage people to shop on Amazon. They don't want you taking traffic elsewhere. So you're paying a little bit of extra premium there, probably two to $3 more per shift, but you're saving that 15% referral fee, right? Down to 3% plus 30 cents per item. So you're saving it back, especially if your price point is high enough. So you're gonna click right here, Amazon MCF. You can have different options for this, but again, in the beginning, Amazon MCF. A key point here, guys, make sure your SKU right here is lined up with your Amazon SKU. Same with barcodes, so you can put your UPC or G10 in here as well. Uh, you can track quantities. Uh, so an Amazon MCF here, it's gonna track how many you have available. Obviously, this is an example product, so I have zero on hand, uh, but we see if there's an already order placed, so it says negative one. But this will link up and actually tell you how much inventory you have. You can do this manually too if, it, if it's not tracking right, but just keep an eye on that. Make sure the weight's in here as well. This doesn't matter as much when it comes to MCF orders. This is good for shipping out things manually to make sure everything's lined up because I'll show you in the shipping settings. You can actually factor your shipping prices based on weight, which is a big deal when you're using outside sources. So onto the shipping here, guys, to make sure everything's working right. So if we go back here, we can actually go to shipping options and Amazon actually warns us here, Amazon FCF must be added to your US shipping profile in Shopify. So what this is, if I just click this link, it makes it a little easier, but I'll show you how to manually get here as well. So your shipping and delivering is in your settings here. So if I go back to the home page here, go all the way down to settings, hopefully you can see that okay. And then go to shipping and delivery. We're in the exact same spot here. So make sure you're all linked up here. So shipping is where you wanna go here. And you're gonna have to play around with this a little bit, learn it a little bit more, but you hit manage right here. You can see the products added to this profile and we see shipping origins. So just like they said, shipping origin right here, we go back, we see shipping origins, Amazon FCF, right? So you hit manage here. You can remove rates. If you got another source here, you can remove those rates right there. But then you can also set up, see this is why the weight's important as well, because you can add conditions where if it's more 
product, you can add the weight here if it hits certain levels that it's gonna be more in shipping costs, which makes sense here. So make sure this lines up with your MCF, which again, just go to multi-channel fulfillment, click that product there, and then you can see what the rates are for something like that and make sure everything lines up here. Again, I know this might be a little confusing, but again, I want you to get familiar with this so you understand this as well. And I don't wanna make this a, a 45 minute video. I just wanna be efficient and not waste anybody's time here. So you can make the rates here. You can change this edit rate. Uh, you can add new rates here. And this should match the MCF orders. If we go back to welcome here, manage shipping, and then you can even go back into your seller central to get everything going there, okay? That way it's all lined up at checkout. And again, guys, when you get this going, test and order yourself. So go check out yourself, make sure everything's lined up, double check it, make sure that the customer is actually seeing what you want them to be seeing. Uh, and everything lines up with shipping costs there, okay? Uh, you can offer free shipping if you'd like. I would do this for probably two day shipping and three to five day shipping and then charge priority shipping for the fact that you're making up those costs anyways through saving on the referral fee. So I wanna make this, you know, most websites have free shipping anyways. It's two day to three to five day. And so, you, you know, play with your numbers, make sure it all makes sense there. But essentially I want the most incentive as possible, make it as easy as possible on the customer to actually check out here because I'm making more money anyways. Then we can see international stuff here. Again, you can make multiple shipping plans here, but I'm not gonna be shipping internationally for this case here. If you got something set up with DHL or anything like that, obviously do you on that. But if we go back now, let's talk about fulfilling orders. So now that everything's set up here, we can go back to our customer here, and then we can hit request fulfillment or fulfill item. I'm gonna hit request fulfillment here just to make sure everything lines up. Uh, Amazon FCA may decline your request if no shipping address. Yes, because there's no shipping address here. Uh, because again, this is an example one. And then you hit right here, send fulfillment request. And then you can see when that item is fulfilled. And to double check that, go to your manage orders and you're looking for consumer ID order there, okay? That means that an MCF order has been placed and you can even go look at the data to make sure that everything lines up perfectly there. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Again, this is your first step outside of Amazon, which is, it's exciting. It's, it's fun to get sales on another marketplace. Then eventually those keep peaking up growing and essentially you have two sales channel now they rely on not just amazon just in case something goes bad there you're diversified okay so this is important I mean at the beginning but once you get going this is your next step if you guys want to stay up to date on more amazon fba e-commerce shopify stuff like that make sure you subscribe right here that way you don't miss a thing as well if you got any other questions at all put them in the comments down below i'll make sure to take a look at the first you know 10 20 there uh if i got more time sometimes i check them randomly on my phone there and you can also share this to anybody who is going through this right now, obviously be a helpful hand. But otherwise guys, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.